danced down her cracked windshield, but Stray could flick a switch and wipe the wet away, which is more than she could say about her current situation. I didn't mean to come by here today, she said, but she forgot to think and her mind started wandering back to a time when she could forgive, back to days when she lived for love. She steps out the car, strides up to church. Even though she's hurt, she's not limping, or at least not that you can see, but she is hungry, and she came here to eat. <clears throat> the door is open, and the men that keep the gate, they make her feel safe. Because, you see, it's in their smile, their stride is all over their face. Because, see, the strongest men have made mistakes, they've been redeemed, and then they become bigger than every pain they've ever faced. And when the strong men open the gate... They open it with everything. She strides through the lobby, lands in sanctuary, where Bertie is on the mic and Mr. Grit is pacing the floor. He plans to take back and restore everything that's ever been illegally destroyed. They carry pain to heaven's gates with hot prayers that always escape the atmosphere of rage and depression. They pray like soldiers on a mission. And then the prayers become liquid. With an urban neo-soul, as Sister Overcomer takes the mic and her story unflows, she flashes back on the violence she survived, on the baby that died, and the way she tried to do the same, but the love of God overcame that pain. She remembered the cancer that tried to take her out, and she began to shout. She remembered the bruises that tattooed her soul, and she just had to let go. She reached back into that neo-soul worship, and she took the church home because that flashback praise is going on after soil. It's a darker sound with a deeper beat. It's the gut of a survivor that escapes to see that flashback praise is old school soul. It's the power that overcomers know. Now that is a Negro spiritual. And she wasn't praising on her own. Brother Keith standing ran back through all his disappointments and all his private tears and all he saw was the blood covering all those years. So he raised his hands to say thank you. And he bowed his head to say thank you. And he opened his mouth to say thank you because love keeps seeing him through. And then the worship calmed down and the preacher came out. Like the original poet delivering spoken words to set captive hearts on fire and restore broken desires to give weakened spirits a fresh flame to reignite the faith that used to drive us through the day. He walks through that word like a journeyman, reminding us that we are designed for more than the life we've been reaching for. He came to restore the best in us. And when the moment was over, and Stray, that diva with the crack windshield, got ready to go home. She ran out the door just a little bit more home than she was before. That's Hip Hop Church. I wrote that just sitting back thinking about what it felt like to go home to Faith by Hearing. When I walked in, these are all the people that we see. And what I noticed was that there's a deep-seated pain that has a unique power to get between our heart and our dreams and distract us from new things and a better life. And it's that word and the fellowship of the saints that will set you free. I'm Lady J with HotPrayers.com, and this has been your reborn moment.